This is going to really add a bit of a backbone to my climbing this year. If I feel a little bit off track or anything like that, it's like, oh, I'm just, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do this. I bet you've got some big goals in your climbing. I do. In the coming months, I've got my sights set on a few harder routes oh. and each of which would be the hardest route I've ever done if I'm able to do them. However, the goal I am most psyched for is the one that's going to make me a better climber long term which ultimately is the big goal in all of it. Be a better climber than last year's Tom. And I'll use the word better intentionally here. Not stronger, better. My goal this year is to climb 50 plus routes grade 26 and above that I haven't already done. I'd urge you to have a think about having a goal like this for yourself as well. Why? Because I, I think it's this deliberate volume that really is the foundation for achieving some of our bigger kind of dream goals. I'll explain how I came up with these numbers in a minute and go over how you might like to tweak this to make it a bit more relevant for you and your climbing. The reason that I think that this goal works really well for me and could work really well for you is because it's an input goal, not an output goal. And if you're not familiar with either of those terms, essentially an input goal is based on the work that you put in. You're in control of them. You want to do three training sessions a week, you want to go to the cliff twice a month, you want to have more fruit and veggies throughout the day, etc etc. Basically comes down to your input, you're in control. And I think of these more as process or kind of journey goals. Output goals on the other hand I think of more as destination goals and there's a few more variables at play here. You want to make podium at a comp, you want to climb three grades harder this year, you need to put work in to achieve these things and oftentimes the outcome isn't guaranteed. Oftentimes the input goals will lay the foundation for the output goals. For me, grade 26 to 33, I'm kind of thinking of as the input goals. You know, I can just show up and not put a huge amount of effort in and just kind of cruise on through the year and knock them over and it's all done. However, I want to do six plus routes in the grade 34 and above category. And for that, I really need to be climbing well and to have everything working. So those lower tier routes are laying the foundation and getting me on a roll to be able to do those upper tier routes, which will hopefully and kind of have to be including a few first ascents because there's only three routes in the Blue Mountains that I haven't done that are 34 and above. These lower tier routes will make me head to the cliff and climb on unfamiliar routes and learn new moves and just become a more kind of well-rounded climber. And that's a huge win and why I kind of think that you should consider something like this for yourself as well. If you found this video useful or inspiring so far, I'd love it if you could hit the thumbs up button and let me know if you feel like it, uh, what you kind of feel inspired to get done this year if you've got any goals like this on the cards. As of today, the 19th of January, I've done seven new routes out of this list which is probably more new bits of climbing than I'd done last year. I went to this new-ish cliff and did five new routes and it was incredible, including one first ascent. And I probably would have never have gone or at least not prioritized it if it weren't for this and far out it was so much fun. And then the weekend just gone, I did another two and it's just awesome. Like those days I probably would have just gone out and done laps on something and it's like, oh yeah, sweet, just do more stuff and maybe I wouldn't have even gone to the cliff. But this has just got me like so incredibly psyched. It's that whole thing of nothing ventured, nothing gained. A friend actually said to me, why are you making it 50? Why don't you just make it 52 and then it's one a week for the whole year? And it's like, yeah, perfect. So as an aside, I'm gonna put throughout the year of those new routes down the bottom of the screen, like, three out of 52, six out of 52. And that's gonna be the root number for the year. So that's something for you to know to watch out in the videos this year. I'm really hoping by the end of the year, there'll be a 52 out of 52. It's gonna feel good. So how do you make this list for yourself? For me, grade 26 is five grades underneath my max on-site level. And it requires me to kind of be warmed up and a bit switched on, but it's also at a level where at the end of a day of projecting, I can go, oh, cool, I haven't gone and done that route yet. I'm just gonna go knock it off. And maybe it'll be a bit harder than I want 26 to feel, but you can make it happen. Or it just slips nicely into your warm-up routine as a 
second root of the day or something like that. Those extra little roots that you add in, the ones that I was kind of neglecting, but actually just do lay the foundation for all of it because it's just more moves, it's more time on rock, more learning and just more awesomeness. Having the perspective of adding another root to my 52 also takes away that weight of like, oh, I'm going to save that one for an on-site or a flash and just makes me get on it and go climbing. And don't get me wrong, there are routes that I am saving for on-sites and flashes. There is a few special ones just tucked away for those good breezy days. But I was finding myself for a while thinking like, oh, I'm not going to pull onto that because that's at a level I should be on siding and I'm just, oh, I'm going to wait and oh, I don't have the right shoes or I'm not feeling great or my skin's a little bit. And then I'm just not climbing and I don't want to be falling victim to that. I'm just going to pull on and accept that like, I'm not feeling it right now, but I'm still going to give it everything. Your challenge for yourself could just as easily be something like 10 roots grade X and above this year, where X is just a few notches underneath your max red point, where you could try and do all of the new set in a color range at the climbing gym each week. There's a ton of variations that you can tweak around with here, but essentially you're playing with the idea of intentional volume, which in my opinion is one of the biggest winners to becoming a better climber. But that's a topic for a whole new video. So go choose a grade range to set your sights on. Choose the quantity based on what's kind of realistic, but it's going to push you a little bit and crack in. I'm sending all of my positive energy to you and your climbing dreams because nothing feels better than doing something that you thought was impossible. So go out there, have fun, crack into it. I hope you have an amazing day. See you next time. Oh, and if you want to keep the site going, watch these two. Catch up.